So I decided to do the voiceover for this video because uh, we were playing around with a few different camera settings uh, and angles just to try bring something different to the video game. So I like to start by warming up the rotator cuffs just with a little bit of resistance. Some people may not need any. But warming up is uh, pretty important. Showing the video but I also warmed up my uh, lower back with just some back extensions. Uh, well, this is actually a great one to work all of them. I wouldn't recommend it for uh, everybody. Start it with no weights and then build up to it. So Alright, so I kind of hit um, about 60%, 70% just for the first set. Just to sort of warm up and get my mechanics of my body into the rhythm of things. With a lighter weight too, overhand grip on both hands is optimal. But as you get heavier, Without straps, you'll see that my, my grips change. So I'll have one hand over, one hand under, just to stop any loss of grip strength. I like to hit uh, a little bit more of a stiff leg deadlift. My flexibility is not great, but I find that I like get Better back strength uh, and hypertrophy technique. On the other hand, it's different for everybody because of flexibility. So if you're unsure, always start out a bit lighter and then uh, work on perfecting technique uh, before you start getting a little bit heavier. Now we're hitting into the working sets. I'll hit a rep range from about eight to 10. And then depending on my intensity or where I'm at during the year is how many sets that I will generally do depending on a mesocycle that I'm processing through. But because I've got a short amount of time between competitions and I want to pack on as much size as I possibly can, uh, in about two, three months, I've kind of almost doubled my set range. So we're upping it to eight sets and anywhere between eight to 10 reps. My lower back starts to get a little bit tighter and just in case I'll chuck on the belt just for extra support because my body's not used to doing this much intensity. So I'd, I'll drop the weight to a little bit lower than what I would generally do, just so that I can fulfill uh, the requirements that I, I'm trying to achieve. So the next exercise is the plated machine row. i um, just be doing single arm rows because it's a lot easier than doing the double arms. A uh, little less energy used and you can go pretty heavy. Um, I'll use straps as well just to aid in the grip strength, uh, but I'll let you guys just uh, watch technique and enjoy the rest of this set. And now we're on to the lat pull down. So grip will be just outside shoulder width. Elbows will be aiming to point inwards as we pull the bar down. Studies have shown that 11 degrees is substantial for maximum muscle hypertrophy during the lat pull down. And because it's a heavier weight, you may need a little bit of assistance with momentum. So that angle from 11 degrees may increase to 20 degrees, but you go any further than that and it's, it's more of a row. So I hope you enjoyed that video and the content that I'm putting out. Hit a thumbs up and subscribe to my page. Videos will be 
posted every Sunday for the next couple of weeks.